Hi friends, Shayla here. So it's been a minute since I've filmed a video. Um, with the world in the state that it is, I was kind of taking a back seat and giving those whose voices needed to be heard more of a chance. I didn't want to disrupt things. I wanted the algorithm to not get distracted and have you guys getting the voices that you needed to be hearing. When it comes to the Black Lives Matter movement, I fully can't understand because I am a white woman who lives in the suburbs. I have a very blessed and privileged life and I'm gonna check that right here and I understand that. When it comes to the persecution that they feel, that's something I will never understand, but I can relate to to an extent. I have a nephew who's a person of color and I love him with my whole heart and soul. And when I see him, I don't see his color. I see him as a human. And that's how I see all people. I don't see in color when it comes to skin. I never have. It's just one of those things that I think I got very lucky in the way I was raised. And I never immediately judged someone because of the color of their skin. Like I've just never done that. I've always believed that each human being should be given the respect any human being deserves until they've done something to lose your respect. At that point, I just pull away, take a beat, take some time. Sometimes I can associate with them again and other times I can't. Most of the time I can. I just need some time to kind of process and deal on my own. But when it comes to all of this, I have had my eyes opened. I got looking at my shelves and I realized, yes, I have books by black authors, but I never intentionally sought out black authors. And that's something that I am now working on much more. It's one of those things where I was always more attracted to a story than an author. I've always been that way. And I also noticed that I have a lot more like Asian style fiction and fantasy on my shelf than I do black. And that's something that I can definitely educate myself on more. So through all the amazing resources that are out there, um, I'm going to link a couple of creators down below of who are black and I've been subscribed to all of them for a period of time and they're all amazing. So I want you guys to go and check them out. If you like their content, subscribe. They don't want pity subscribers. They don't want you to be their token black person. These are all amazing human beings who deserve subs because the content they put out is great. So if you jive with their content, please subscribe to them. Don't subscribe to them to have a token black person that you're subscribed to. That's not what any of them want. They've said that in other videos. I will also be linking a couple of videos down in the description of people talking about this specifically that are own voices because I can't, I can't speak for them. They're speaking for themselves and their voices need to be heard. So I will leave a couple of those down below that I think are very powerful and very important and that I think people need to hear. So on that note, <laughs> I don't like talking about downer things. Um, we're gonna take a minute to briefly glance over the JK Rowling thing. I've not followed JK Rowling for a long time. I'm not a fan of their political views on the world. And I know that the Harry Potter fandom is a big thing for a lot of people and it helped them find their own identity. So I just want anyone who felt hurt by anything JK Rowling said to know that I understand. I haven't been the biggest Harry Potter fan. I think I was old enough that I could enjoy the books for what they were, but they weren't my world. So I can't understand on the same level, I guess. But, you know, don't follow them if their political views are not yours. I believe that any person of any gender or identity of gender or non for that matter is a valid human being and no one can take away your identity. Only you can. And my cat is making love to my tripod, I'm sorry. He's just that way this morning. After the first five minutes of this video being the point that I'm talking about all of this, by the way, on my previous video, I did put in the description that I am donating all of the AdSense to the Black Lives Matter cause. I'm actually gonna be doubling that. So if you have not watched that video yet, please go watch it. It will be linked right here in the cards. And even if I make pittance in the 28 days that it's up, I'm still gonna just donate a significant amount, but I would like you guys to go and watch it so I can see 
roughly what you guys think. It's just my wrap up video. So it's something that you guys tend to normally watch, but it's funny because the views are down on it. So I'm just surprised. But anyways, that's a discussion for another day. So what I've done is I've gathered all of the new to me black authors that I'm going to be exploring and continuing. I've got a few physical copies of books here, and then I've got some digital copies. So let's start with the digital because I think that's just going to work better this morning. So the first one I have here is Rebel by Beverly Jenkins. This is a historical romance featuring black characters, which I'm very excited for. I've had it on my Kindle for a long while. I just have not gotten around to reading it. So these are things I'm going to be prioritizing more completely. And then I've got Sin and Ink by Naima Simone. Sorry if I butchered that first name. Um, this is called, this is from the Sweetest Taboo series. This is book one. Like this just sounds kind of right up my alley when it comes to romance lately. I'm kind of liking the dark, slightly taboo thing. So I am really looking forward to diving into this one. I think it's going to be glorious. Then I have one that I found on Kindle Unlimited, actually. It's called The Rival Bird. And it's by Reese Ryan. This is an author that got recommended. Um, somebody had compiled a list of contemporary authors uh, um, that are black. And I got that name on that list. And so I'm really excited to try it. And then I have Resort to Love by Janice or Janessa Dixon. Um, the cover on this is great. Like the couple looks so good. Um, and again, this one just looks really fun and really good. I've got The Thunder Beneath Us by Nicole Blades. This one just looks fantastic. And I think it's slightly historical. I can't remember for sure. And then I have Haven by Rebecca Witherspoon. A lot of people have been reading Rebecca Witherspoon's like the one where the guy it's, I think it's called Rafe where he's a male nanny. Um, this one is from her Beards and Bondage series, and I heard the title of that series, and I'm like, yes, this sounds like me. So I'm definitely going to give that a try, and I promise to tell you guys everything as soon as I know. And then I've got The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin here on my Kindle. This is a amazing fantasy written by a Black woman that I just have not gotten to yet. And all of my friends that have read it have loved it. It is high on my priority list. So I will definitely be checking that one out soon. And then last for the digital reads, I have an arc from NetGalley for Take a Hint, Danny Brown. This one comes out later this month. So I'm hoping to read it this week, maybe this weekend. And yes, I am just really excited to get into that. I loved Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Um, these are both by Talia Hibbert, by the way. And so I am just genuinely excited to read the follow-up. I've heard some people love it and some people haven't loved it quite as much. It's just a character thing, but it sounds right up my alley. I'm really excited. So let's get into the few physical that I've got here. So I've got Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. Um, I've heard a lot of amazing things about this one. This is kind of a older dystopic or like alternate history kind of book from what I remember. Um, Again, I try to go into my more fantastical kind of reads. This one is a fantasy kind of blind. So I I don't want to know too much because I, I like to be surprised. And yes, I've, I've heard good things about this one. And so I'm genuinely excited and I'm glad I found a copy. Next is one that I heard a lot about initially, like when it was about to release, but then I haven't heard too much since. And that is Queen of the Conquered by Case and Calendar. Um, this is a adult fantasy. I want to prove to them that they were wrong to underestimate. I want to see them burn for what they did to my family. So this sounds like it's got a revenge almost kind of plot to it. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. A Case and Calendar came highly recommended by Thomas over at SFF 180. I know he reads very diversely. So he, he's one of the people who's linked down below, even though he's not black, because he's a great resource for a lot of different things like he's the one who gave me this recommendation as well as some others that aren't in this stack but they're on order so yes I'm very excited. Next we have a romance that I have been meaning to pick up for a while and I finally did 
And that is intercepted by Alexa Martin. Um, a lot of people have talked about this kind of football based series from Alexa Martin. Um, a lot of people talk about the second book fumbled a, a bit more. Um, but I know this is football play, like they all fall in love with football players or like you're following the football player, falling in love with someone like, yeah. So it centers around a football team and the wives and girlfriends and stuff of the members of the football team. So that's about all I know. And it's going to be really fun, I think. Again, this is one that I want to get to relatively soon. So maybe this month. My TBR has changed up quite a bit, so we'll see what happens. Next is a fantasy that I'd been eyeing for a long time, but I finally decided to pick up. And that is A Song of Blood and Stone by L. Penelope. This is the Erstinger Chronicles book one. It's a hefty one. This one's a 500 page one. The The tagline on the front says, and when she awoke, the world trembled. Like, I am all about girl power stories and having it be a woman, a black woman, like that's just something that resonates with me. I want more black women to feel more empowered. I mean, on these platforms, you get to see black women who are empowered, but I want to read about them too. Like I want, I want them featured because I want younger black, young girls, young women to know that they have strength and that they have a voice. So this just, it was resonating with me and I picked it up. And last but not least is one of the few book of the month choices that were by a black author this year. Um, I picked this up not knowing that it was from a black author. The story just sounded interesting to me. And that is The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. Um, this is a sci-fi, can the girl with the forbidden library and the alien who loves pop music work together to save the world? I mean, what kind of cute YA concept? Why wouldn't you want to pick this up? Um, so I am genuinely excited to be reading this. On that note, I have canceled my Book of the Month subscription. Um, I have one credit let, so I'm hoping that either in July or August they'll have something worthwhile that I want to pick up. I was considering getting rid of it anyway because I hadn't been loving the choices the last few months, but now this that was just kind of the last nail in the coffin for me with Book of the Month, and I ended up canceling my subscription. I technically had two because I had one for the YA box and then I had the regular box, but I was liking what was coming in the regular box for a while. And so I left both subscriptions. And so, yeah, I now, now I don't have any, but yes, I'm glad that I had inadvertently <laughs> supported one of the few, one of the three by a black author that were their selections this year. But I'm genuinely excited to read this story and this one is pretty high on my priority, priority list. So friends, I know this video has been a little bit long and a little bit rambly, but I hope that you guys know that I'm doing my best to get more educated, to do my part, to support the proper places and to just make sure I am more prominently featuring how I actually feel on my channel about these kinds of things. You're not going to see a bunch of rant videos from me about each individual thing. That's not how I roll. That's not how I work. But it's one of those things where this is important and all voices matter, whether they're black or queer or whatever, like all of the voices are important. Um, like I said, I do a pretty good job leaning towards um, Asian style stories, either in fantasy or in contemporary even. But it's, that's just naturally where I gravitate towards. I've been very interested in their cultures and diversities and I have not educated myself enough on black ones. So I'm taking this time to try some new authors, to learn some new things. And I'm really excited about this journey. And again, check the description. There's gonna be lots of things linked down there. So please go give those creators some love and support and go get some good ideas and try to pick up a new to you author too. I think it's really important to try new things. This is a perfect opportunity to pick up some things by authors you'd heard about that sound interesting to you. Like do it. I'm so glad I have so far. 
Um, there's a couple by black authors that I've already read this month and one of them I was already planning on reading and then the other um, was one that I picked up on a whim that I just decided to pick up and read and ended up loving. But you'll hear more about that in my mid-month wrap-up coming up. Content is still going to be sparse for a while. I'm working on a big project. There's some long-form content coming your way. And no, these aren't vlogs. <laughs> these are more deep dive documentary style things. So just know that that's headed your way. And if you're not seeing me as regularly in your feed, that's why. So again, thank you guys for watching. Support down below. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell so I know, so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.